Hello everyone, I'm this old man. Welcome to my first video of the skills tree build out. This is about getting started in the game. It's all about survival. Character stats as you go up level per level. Real simple. You're going to put them to weight. But I'm going to walk through doing the first levels, 1 through 8 with you. The uh, Character stat will go to weight, and then we'll focus on skills and show you each skills for each level and kind of what that does for you. If you start at the free port, through this process you'll be able to build a boat, either a, a raft or a sloop uh, from the, the docks. If you're not, this series is about getting to seamanship much later than uh, in the game than right at the beginning. So if you're looking to build ships right off the boat, you might want to take a different path. The first first eight levels are going to be tough. You're, you're going to have to go through the survival and, it, and build up your base before you're going to be able to go into the other skill trees. So first video here might be useful for you. The other ones uh, you can check out. If they work for you, great. If they don't, uh, I hope you enjoy this first one. couple notes when you first start playing low level you are going to struggle through uh, getting killed the first few levels and that's just picking fights with something maybe a little bit larger than you are or higher level and fighting through that and uh, when you log out and log back in because you have no food preserves of any sort you'll be spending your time every time you come back getting gathering meat fish vegetables and fruit so that you can eat and continue to level up while you're you're busy doing everything else so let's jump into it for level one when we start I'm just gonna walk through this quickly as you can see I have many levels to, that we can go up but we're gonna focus on the first eight I'm gonna go and select weight which will unlock some skill points for us we're now level two and the first place, uh, the only thing you can select is the basics, which will give you some basic <laughs> tools. And then I go for tools of the trade, which is going to give you a spear. Now you have tools like a stone pick and a hatchet. You can uh, collect stone. Uh, you can collect wood. It, it, it all goes much faster, and you can build some, some tools like a spear, uh, so hunting becomes much easier. The other point I'm just going to hold and we're going to go up another level and then focus on unlocking construction. So back to inventory, we've gone out, we've done some hunting, some gathering, just looking at the island. We've now made it to go to level three, adding it to weight. We now have more skill points and we're going to go into unlock construction. And I choose this because it's about building a home and unlocking the, the ability to to create a thatch house. So as we unlock construction, we come over here to construction, and the basics of building is going to allow us the ability to, to build thatch floors, doors, ceilings, walls. You can now make yourself a home. I also suggest doing handyman, which is allow you to make a small storage box or a storage box. So when you're gathering all this stuff, you don't have to keep it on your body. You can bring it back to your little home and you can put it in the box and then go out again. So it's a handyman. We'll then go out, we'll continue to hunt, gather. The materials that you need just to build the house will bring up your levels. Your fishing and hunting is going to bring you up those levels. We're going to go to weight. We're now level four. Come back into the skills tree here. And we're going to get weaving. And we're going to save that last skill point because what we want to come down is unlock secrets of building. So again, we're going to go out and continue to hunt and gather material, build out your house a little bit. Um, don't go too much though because we're, we're really working towards getting the skill set to build all those homes out of wood. Um, but you're going to have to do it out of thatch until you, you get to the level to do so. Now we're going to go to level 5. That's going to open up Secrets of Building. And now we have what it takes to go out and gather enough uh, material, put down a wood floor, replace it. We can now build a large storage box, twice the size. Maybe it's even a little bit larger than twice the size of the, the regular storage box. 
you'll have the ability to collect more material. At this time, you'd be able to also collect enough material to go out and get a sloop or a raft. With a sloop, you can then put the large box on the on the sloop. You could then build uh, ceilings to fill in the sloop and then sleep in the bottom of the sloop. Options uh, become more and more uh, as you kind of go down this skill tree. Now, before we move on from survival, where we are level five right now, we're going to go through level six, and we're going to go back to skills, and we're going to go back to survivalism. And what we really want is this advanced tools, but it's eight points. So we're going to go through, go up one more level, and uh, get that skill right now. Level eight, that's level seven, sorry. We now can un unlock advanced tools. This is going to allow us to create a smithy. We can then create metal picks, hatch in a sickle. That sickle helps you collect berries and, and fibers much quicker. So let's open that. <coughs> and for survival, here's where we're going to stop. We'll, we'll save the, the levels for the next series, which starts us into taming. You know, maybe, maybe we should get taming right now, which is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Where are you? Right here. Hand-to-hand -hand combat and beast mastery. So we're going to go up one more level. Brings us to level eight. We only have three points. We'll get the hand to hand, and then in the next video, we'll unlock Beast Mastery and go up the skill tree there. Hopefully, that was helpful for you. I tried to do it quickly. You should have a sloop now, and it could look something like this, and where you would spend your time in storage. So a little storage box here. I've been uh, leveling up and cooking already, so I already have a water barrel here, but you won't have one quite yet. And you can come inside. If you put a little half wall in, you can fit your smithy under here. And if you're in PvP, um, this allows you to put it in here and people can't access the material in it. Gives you some more storage as well. And then you can just sleep right here on this little panel. Again, this is built with a little half wall and two ceiling panels down here. Well, I hope you liked the video.